Corona Australis is a constellation in the southern celestial hemisphere. Its Latin name means southern crown, and it is the southern counterpart of Corona Borealis, the northern crown. It is one of the 48 constellations listed by the 2nd century astronomer Ptolemy, and it remains one of the 88 modern constellations. The ancient Greeks saw Corona Australis as a wreath rather than a crown and associated it with Sagittarius or Centaurus. Other cultures have likened the pattern to a turtle, ostrich nest, a tent, or even a hut belonging to a rock hyrax. Although fainter than its northern counterpart, the oval or horseshoe-shaped pattern of its brighter stars renders it distinctive. Alpha and Beta Coronae Australis are the two brightest stars with an apparent magnitude of around 4. 1. Epsilon Coronae Australis is the brightest example of a W. Ursi Majoris variable in the southern sky. Lying alongside the Milky Way, Corona Australis contains one of the closest star-forming regions to the solar system, a dusty dark nebula known as the Corona Australis Molecular Cloud, lying about 430 light-years away. Within it are stars at the earliest stages of their lifespan. The variable stars are in Thai Corona Australis light up parts of the nebula, which varies in brightness accordingly. The name of the constellation was entered as Corona Australis when the International Astronomical Union established the 88 modern constellations in 1922. In 1932, the name was instead recorded as Corona Australis when the Yao's Commission on Notation approved a list of four-letter abbreviations for the constellations. The four-letter abbreviations were repealed in 1955. The Yao presently uses Corona Australis exclusively. Corona Australis is a small constellation bordered by Sagittarius to the north, Scorpius to the west, Telescopium to the south, and Aura to the southwest. The three-letter abbreviation for the constellation, as adopted by the International Astronomical Union in 1922, is CRA. The official constellation boundaries, as set by Belgian astronomer Eugène Delporte in 1930, are defined by a polygon of four segments. In the equatorial coordinate system, the right ascension coordinates of these borders lie between 17 hours 58. 3 meters and 19 hours 19. 0 meters, while the declination coordinates are between minus 36. 77 degrees and minus 45. 52 degrees. Covering 128 square degrees, Corona Australis culminates at midnight around the 30th of June and ranks 80th in area. Only visible at latitudes south of 53 degrees north, Corona Australis cannot be seen from the British Isles as it lies too far south, but it can be seen from southern Europe and readily from the southern United States. The constellation Corona Australis as it can be seen by the naked eye while not a bright constellation, Corona Australis is nonetheless distinctive due to its easily identifiable pattern of stars, which has been described as horseshoe or oval-shaped. Though it has no stars brighter than fourth magnitude, it still has 21 stars visible to the unaided eye. Nicolas Louis de Lacaille used the Greek letters alpha through to lambda to label the most prominent 11 stars in the constellation, designating two stars as eta and emitting iota altogether. Mu Coronae Australis, a yellow star of spectral type G5. 5 I an apparent magnitude 5. 21, was labeled by Johann Ellert Bode and retained by Benjamin Gould, who deemed it bright enough to warrant naming. The only star in the constellation to have received a name is Alpheca Meridiana or Alpha Cra. The name combines the Arabic name of the constellation with the Latin for southern. In Arabic, Alpheca means break, and refers to the shape of both Corona Australis and Corona Borealis. Also called simply Meridiana, it is a white main sequence star located 125 light years away from Earth, with an apparent magnitude of 4. 10 in a spectral type A2 Va. A rapidly rotating star, it spins at almost 200 km per second at its equator, making a complete revolution in around 14 hours. Like the star Vega, it has excess infrared radiation, which indicates it may be ringed by a disk of dust. It is currently a main-sequence star, but will eventually evolve into a white dwarf. Currently, it has a luminosity 31 times greater, and a radius and mass of 2. 3 times that of the Sun. Beta Coronae Australis is an orange giant 474 light-years from Earth. Its spectral type is K02, and it is of apparent magnitude 4. 11. Since its formation, it has evolved from a B-type star to a K-type star. Its luminosity class places it as a bright giant, its luminosity is 730 times that of the Sun, 
designating it one of the highest luminosity K0 type stars visible to the naked eye. 100 million years old, it has a radius of 43 solar radii and a mass of between 4. 5 and 5 solar masses. Alpha and beta are so similar as to be indistinguishable in brightness to the naked eye. Some of the more prominent double stars include Gamma Coronae Australis, a pair of yellowish-white stars 58 light-years away from Earth, which orbit each other every 122 years. Widening since 1990, the two stars can be seen as separate with the 100mm Aperture Telescope, they are separated by 1.3 arcseconds at an angle of 61 degrees. They have a combined visual magnitude of 4. 2, each component is an F8V dwarf star with a magnitude of 5. 01. Epsilon Coronae Australis is an eclipsing binary belonging to a class of stars known as W. Ursi Majoris variables. These star systems are known as contact binaries as the component stars are so close together they touch. Varying by a quarter of a magnitude around an average apparent magnitude of 4. 83 every 7 hours, the star system lies 98 light years away. Its spectral type is F4 for 0. 8 plus. At the southern end of the crown asterism are the stars Eta superscript 1 and Eta squared Coronae Australis, which form an optical double. Of magnitude 5. 1 and 5. 5, they are separable with the naked eye and are both white. Kappa Coronae Australis is an easily resolved optical double, the components are of apparent magnitude 6. 3 and 5. 6 and are about 1150 light years away respectively. They appear at an angle of 359 degrees, separated by 21. 6 arc seconds. Kappa squared is actually the brighter of the pair and is more bluish white, with a spectral type of B9V, while kappa superscript 1 is of spectral type A0 IV. Lying 202 light years away, Lambda Coronae Australis is a double splittable in small telescopes. The primary is a white star of spectral type A2VN and magnitude of 5. 1, while the companion star has a magnitude of 9. 7. The two components are separated by 29. 2 arc seconds at an angle of 214 degrees. Zeta Coronae Australis is a rapidly rotating main sequence star with an apparent magnitude of 4. 8, 221. 7 light years from Earth. The star has blurred lines in its hydrogen spectrum due to its rotation. Its spectral type is B9V. Theta Coronae Australis lies further to the west, a yellow giant of spectral type G8 IV and apparent magnitude 4. 62. Corona Australis harbors are XJ1856. 5-3754, to 3754, an isolated neutron star that is thought to lie 140 parsecs, or 460 light years, away, with a diameter of 14 kilometers. It was once suspected to be a strange star, but this has been discounted. The R. Coronae Australis region imaged with the wide field imager at ESO's La Chila Observatory. According to ESO, the light blue nebulosity seen in this picture is mostly due to the reflection of starlight off small dust particles. A prominent dark lane crosses the image from the center to the bottom left. Here the visible light emitted by the stars that are forming inside the cloud is completely absorbed by the dust. These objects could only be detected by observing at longer wavelengths by using a camera that can detect infrared radiation. In the north of the constellation is the Corona Australis molecular cloud, a dark molecular cloud with many embedded reflection nebulae, including NGC 6729, NGC 6726-7, and IC 4812. A star-forming region of around 7000 m, it contains Herbig Harrow objects and some very young stars. About 430 light-years away, it is one of the closest star-forming regions to the solar system. The related NGC 6726 and 6727, along with unrelated NGC 6729, were first recorded by Johann Friedrich Julius Schmidt in 1865. The Coronet Cluster, about 554 light-years away at the edge of the Gould Belt, is also used in studying star and protoplanetary disk formation. A star chart of night sky towards the galactic central area, with the Corona Australis molecular cloud at the bottom left marked green. Our Corona Australis is an irregular variable star ranging from magnitudes 9. 7 to 13. 9. Blue-white, it is of spectral type B5 fight. A very young star, 
it is still accumulating interstellar material. It is obscured by, and illuminates, the surrounding nebula, NGC 6729, which brightens and darkens with it. The nebula is often compared to a comet for its appearance in a telescope, as its length is five times its width. S. Coroni Australis is a G-class dwarf in the same field as R and is a T-towery star. Nearby, another young variable star, Ti Coroni Australis, illuminates another nebula, Reflection Nebula NGC 6726-7. Ti Coroni Australis ranges irregularly between magnitudes 8, 7 and 12, 4, and the brightness of the nebula varies with it. Blue-white, it is of spectral type B8E. The largest young stars in the region, R, S, T, Ti and VV Coroni Australis, are all ejecting jets of material which cause surrounding dust and gas to coalesce and form her big hair objects, many of which have been identified nearby. Lying adjacent to the nebulosity is the globular cluster known as NGC 6723, which is actually in the neighboring constellation of Sagittarius and is much much further away. Near Epsilon and Gamma Coroni Australis is Burns 157, a dark nebula and star-forming region. It is a large nebula, 55 by 18 arc minutes, that possesses several stars around magnitude 13. These stars have been dimmed by up to 8 magnitudes by its dust clouds. IC 1297 is a planetary nebula of apparent magnitude 10. 7, which appears as a green-hued roundish object in higher-powered amateur instruments. The nebula surrounds the variable star Ru Coroni Australis, which has an average apparent magnitude of 12. 9 and is a dub C-class wolf ray at star. I see 1297 is small, at only 7 arc seconds in diameter, it has been described as a square with rounded edges in the eyepiece, elongated in the north-south direction. Descriptions of its color encompass blue, blue-tinged green, and green-tinged blue. Corona Australis location near the Milky Way means that galaxies are uncommonly seen. NGC 6768 is a magnitude 11. 2 object 35 south of IC 1297. It is made up of two galaxies merging, one of which is an elongated elliptical galaxy of classification E4 and the other a lenticular galaxy of classification S0. IC 4808 is a galaxy of apparent magnitude 12. 9 located on the border of Corona Australis with the neighboring constellation of Telescopium and 3. 9 degrees west-southwest of Beta Sagittarii. However, amateur telescopes will only show a suggestion of its spiral structure. It is 1. 9 arc minutes by 0. 8 arc minutes. The central area of the galaxy does appear brighter in an amateur instrument, which shows it to be tilted northeast-southwest. Southeast of Theta and southwest of Eta lies the open cluster ESO 281 SC24, which is composed of the yellow ninth magnitude star GSC 7914 178 1 and 5 tenth to 11th magnitude stars. Halfway between Theta Coroni Australis and Theta Scorpii is the dense globular cluster NGC 6541. Described as between magnitude 6. 3 and magnitude 6. 6. It is visible in binoculars and small telescopes. Around 22,000 light years away, it is around 100 light years in diameter. It is estimated to be around 14 billion years old. NGC 6541 appears 13. 1 arc minutes in diameter and is somewhat resolvable in large amateur instruments. A 12 inch telescope reveals approximately 100 stars, but the core remains unresolved. Close up on the Orion arm, with major stellar associations, nebulae and dark nebulae around the local bubble, with the Corona Australis molecular cloud marked below the middle. The Corona Australids are a meteor shower that takes place between 14 and 18 March each year, peaking around 16th of March. This meteor shower does not have a high peak hourly rate. In 1953 and 1956, observers noted a maximum of 6 meteors per hour and 4 meteors per hour respectively. In 1955 the shower was barely resolved. However, in 1992, astronomers detected a peak rate of 45 meteors per hour. The Corona Australids rate varies from year to year. At only 6 days, the shower's duration is particularly short, and its meteoroids are small, the stream is devoid of large meteoroids. 
The Corona Australids were first seen with the unaided eye in 1935 and first observed with radar in 1955. Corona Australid meteors have an entry velocity of 45 km per second. In 2006, a shower originating near Beta Coronae Australis was designated as the Beta Coronae Australids. They appear in May, the same month as a nearby shower known as the May Microscopids, but the two showers have different trajectories and are unlikely to be related. Corona Australis on the Maniature Globe, a Dillner Collection, Sweden. Corona Australis may have been recorded by ancient Mesopotamians in the Mool.Apen, as a constellation called M.A. Gore. However, this constellation, adjacent to Suhur.Mash, may instead have been modern Epsilon Sagittarii. As a part of the southern sky, M.A. Gore was one of the 15 stars of E.A. In the 3rd century BC, the Greek didactic poet Aratus wrote of, but did not name the constellation, instead calling the two crowns Sigma Tau Epsilon Phi Nu Omicron Iota. The Greek astronomer Ptolemy described the constellation in the 2nd century AD, though with the inclusion of Alpha Telescopii, since transferred to Telescopia. Ascribing 13 stars to the constellation, he named it Sigma Tau Epsilon Phi Nu Omicron Sigma Nu Omicron Tau Iota Omicron Sigma, Southern Wreath, while other authors associated it with either Sagittarius or Centaurus, with the former. It was called Corona Sagittarii. Similarly, the Romans called Corona Australis the golden crown of Sagittarius. It was known as Parvum Coilum in the 5th century. The 18th century French astronomer Jérôme Lalonde gave it the name Sardum Australe and Orbiculus Capitus, while German poet and author Philippus Caesius called it Corolla or Spira Australis, and linked it with the crown of eternal life from the New Testament. 17th century celestial cartographer Julius Schiller linked it to the Diadem of Solomon. Sometimes, Corona Australis was not the wreath of Sagittarius but arrows held in his hand. Corona Australis depicted in the Atlas Callistus of John Flamsteed Corona Australis has been associated with the myth of Bacchus and Stimula. Jupiter had impregnated Stimula, causing Juno to become jealous. Juno convinced Stimula to ask Jupiter to appear in his full splendor, which the mortal woman could not handle, causing her to burn. After Bacchus, Stimula's unborn child, became an adult and the god of wine, he honored his deceased mother by placing a wreath in the sky. In Chinese astronomy, the stars of Corona Australis are located within the black tortoise of the north. The constellation itself was known as Tian Pia and during the Western Zhou period, marked the beginning of winter. However, precession over time has meant that the Heavenly River became the more accurate marker to the ancient Chinese and hence supplanted the turtle in this role. Arabic names for Corona Australis include Al Cuba the tortoise, Al Hiba the tent, or Al Uda Al Nam the ostrich nest. It was later given the name Al Iqlal Al Janubia, which the European authors Chilmeed, Riccioli, and Caesius transliterated as Alashal Al Janubi, Al Clial Al Janubi, and Al Adil Al Janubi, respectively. The Psalm speaking San people of South Africa knew the constellation as does not equal Nabe Ta. New house of branches owned originally by the Dasi, and the star pattern depicting people sitting in a semicircle around a fire. The indigenous Burong people of northwestern Victoria saw it as one, a boomerang thrown by Toad Yard Gill. The Aranda people of Central Australia saw Corona Australis as a Kuluman carrying a baby, which was accidentally dropped to earth by a group of sky women dancing in the Milky Way. The impact of the Kuluman created Ghost Bluff Crater, 175 kilometers west of Alice Springs. The Torres Strait Islander saw Corona Australis as part of a larger constellation encompassing part of Sagittarius and the tip of Scorpius's tail, the Pleiades and Orion were also associated. This constellation was Tagai's canoe, crewed by the Pleiades, called the Usayam, and Orion, called the Seg. The myth of Tagai says that he was in charge of this canoe, but his crewmen consumed all of the supplies on board without asking permission. Enraged, Tagai bound the Usayam with a rope and tied them to the side of the boat, then threw them overboard. Scorpius's tail represents a suckerfish, while Eta Sagittarii and Theta Coronae Australis mark the bottom of the canoe. On the island of Futuna, the figure of Corona Australis was called Tanuma and in the Tuamotus, it was called Nakawa Kitanga. Simbad. Thanks for watching.